Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab and I've got some PlayStation facts for you. And these facts I've had to really dig for. I won't waste your time with stuff you've seen a thousand times before. So here are five facts about PlayStation you have definitely not heard before. The PlayStation was not the first games machine Sony ever made, nor was it the Sony Hitbit MSX computers of the 1980s. The first machine they actually built was in the 70s. This on screen right now is a prototype game system Sony was working on during the 1970s. So just what the hell is this anyway? Well, this machine popped up on a display at a Tokyo exhibition celebrating the work of Soichiro Honda and Masaru Ibuka. Ibuka being in the founder of Sony. Details are like intelligent people on Twitter. They're very hard to come by. The only concrete information we have is what is on the display card next to the machine. Running this through Google Translate tells us that Ibuka had this created because he wanted to play games on his TV at home and that the software for this was cartridge based. Looking at what I assume is the cartridge port, I guess games would have been on some sort of forerunner to the card games that Sega and Hudson Soft developed in the 80s. This combined with the controller actually being a dial and buttons on the front make it a very weird design by today's standards. Everyone loves trophies. They work like a digital diary, charting your history on PlayStation, reminding you of the events in different games that you played. We all know what trophies look like. Bronze, silver, gold, and ultimate trophy, platinum. Trophy support was added in PlayStation 3 firmware patch 2.4 on July the 2nd, 2008. But this firmware update had a bug in it and was pulled offline the same day as release. An updated patch number 2.41 was released on the 8th of July and finally PlayStation trophy hunting could begin. Patch 2.41 not only fixed the bug in the firmware but it also changed the appearance of the platinum trophy to look like how we know it today. I say changed because in the original patch 2.4 the platinum trophy actually looked like this. Yep, even though they were called platinum they were actually pink. The same crown design actually showed up in a developer leak a few weeks before for the official patch release. So there you go. Originally, the Platinum PlayStation Trophy had a totally different design. When Sony first party baseball game MLB The Show released on Xbox, people lost their minds. Even though Sony had to release the game on Xbox due to a licensing oversight with the Major League Baseball Association. The media can believe it though, a Sony owned studio releasing a game on a system that wasn't PlayStation. But this was not the only Sony first party game on a system that was not a PlayStation. In fact, this practice has been going on since the mid 90s. Remember Psygnosis? Sony bought and became their owners in 1993. Then a few years later, Psygnosis made Wipeout for the PS1. Then they ported it to the rival Sega Saturn console, as well as PC. Later came the sequel Wipeout 2097 for the PS1, and again ported to the Sega Saturn. There was even a different version developed for the Nintendo N64. That's right, Wipeout, which was a Sony-owned IP that was developed by a Sony-owned studio and was bought over to a Nintendo console. This also happened with other Psygnosis games like Destruction Derby, 3D Lemmings and Crazy Ivan. But before you think this is some sort of weird Psygnosis deal, Psy, which was a PS1 game that received a name change when it releases Devil Dice in the West, Sony would later release this game on the Japanese Bandai Wonder Swan handheld system. See? Says right there on the case. The 
The Sony PSX is this, a PS2 with a DVR function and a lovely XMB. But before this, the PSX was the code name for the first PlayStation console. The name PSX was used so much in the run up to the console launch that it stuck for a while after the console came out, even though it was dropped as the official name before release. The name PSX was used in magazines at the time, on websites during this period, and can even be found on the scoreboard in Ridge Racer 1. But have you ever wondered why Sony even thought about using the term PSX in the first place? Well, a few minutes ago, I mentioned the Sony Hitbit MSX home computers from the 80s. I'm sure a light bulb just went off in your head, right? Yes, the PlayStation PSX codename is a, an homage to their line of MSX home 80s computers. Thus, the MSX becomes the PSX. The XMB, it's probably one of the cleanest looking console UIs ever created. And in 2006, to have a real 1080p full HD interface was actually quite unusual. In a later firmware, Sony added moving particles to the XMB background. Some people like them, some people like me think it looked better without them. But did you know that these particles actually have a secret function? They actually react to the motion control inside the PS3 controller. So if you thrust the controller in either a left or right motion, the particles on screen will follow the same movement. So you would have thought this would be something Sony would have at least mentioned at some point. But no, they left it as an Easter egg for users to find. And now you know.